Hey guys, welcome back to this video. And today we have the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And the reason why I'm making this review because I went to a very long vacation and while I was in this vacation, someone pickpocketed me and from my pocket stole my phone. So I did not have a phone and I had a very good reason to get a new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So I've been using this for quite a while. I think more than two months, about a couple of months, a estimate. So let's review it and let's see if it's good. So Let's open that phone. But before I open it, I want to show you how the box looks like. Galaxy S24 Ultra. You can see the phone over here with the S Pen and some more information on the back. Now, yes, I already did open the, this box so I can use the phone for about more than two months or about one month. I'm not really sure. But I can now give you a good perspective and, and a good view on the phone since I'm already started using it and I already know all about it. So let's get in, in, into the video. Alright, let's see how it looks like. Have a mic over here so you guys can hear the box. Well, so you guys can hear the box. I'm gonna put it back. Probably hold it. So when we open the box, we have the phone itself so this is the phone right here it has five cameras which is very nice and the samsung name over here and i just don't like what when my fingers touch to the cameras gives me a, a bad feeling so this is the wallpaper the original wallpaper that comes with I kind of like it and when you open it, it has this live animation let me put the mic down yeah so it has this nice mic animations which is, i mean my, my, a wallpaper animation which i pretty like so i stick to this wallpaper since i got it because i love it so let's start from the outside. I honestly do like these five cameras. It just looks so nice. And especially the 200 megapixel camera that I'm gonna show you soon. And also Samsung did change the screen. It was a cross screen in our S23 Ultra and now it's a flat screen on the S24 Ultra. And the reason why they did it is because the cross screen it, it, it wasn't strong enough because of, of the curves so Samsung switched back to the flat screen so the screen can, can be stronger and on top of that strong screen we have the Gorilla Glass Victus Plus I think it's a Victus Plus which is a very strong screen and it's not gonna break that easily so Another matter is that Samsung, they, I don't know if they did on S23 Ultra, but the speakers look very different. As you can see, it has this line instead of two dots. It's two dots, I mean the dots well, look like holes. Then we have another speaker over here, which is the dots. And we have a flashlight in, in between. And of course, we do have the S Pen. So let's start with this S Pen. It does match the color of the of, of the phone and has a, another color over here that also matches the phone, unlike the S Pen in the Note 9, I guess. It was all yellow. 
which I really do like this S Pen, is just when you use the S Pen, you're not gonna use it that much. But you can do draw on it, which is pretty nice. I'll show you. So as soon as you open the phone, I think it doesn't matter if it's locked or not, you can take out the S Pen and it pops out and you can draw. Which is a pretty nice feature if you're bored or something. But if you put the S Pen back, this painting saves, so I usually erase it because I don't want this paint painting saved. So let's head on to the screen. So. This screen has a 6.8 inch screen with a dynamic OLED display. It has a QHD resolution and a 120 hz res refresh rate, which is, gives you very smooth performance and has super thin bezels. So I don't even notice them. Let's head on to our next next object performance but before we get there i want to remind you guys on what phone i had before this i had a samsung galaxy a71 5g which is was a very good phone in my opinion I, I loved it but i got this phone and i think it's worth the upgrade i i do understand that it's a budget phone and, th and this is the samsung flagship phone which is the price difference is way big but and what I, I deal with it, which I, I very liked, I think it's worth it. So, the reason why I think it's worth it is because of the camera quality and it has a S Pen with, and the new processor chip, the Snapdragon 8 3 Gen for Galaxy Edition, which is makes a very big difference. So, let me make it for again. It makes a super big difference because my sister, she has the iPhone 13 Pro. And she plays this one game, I don't know how it's even called, but I know it's, it's, it's a very big game and just to download it takes up a lot. Like, it does download in an in app store and in, in the play store. You, you press play and now it just loads for such a long time. It's like Fortnite. Well, because in our school it was loading forever. So, she took about three days or so to load. I think three days with breaks, but it took a very long time. And it's a photo production pro, but it's a very good phone. This, on the other hand, is obviously way new, obviously way newer, but it took about five to ten minutes to download instead of 30, 30 minutes is, is my estimate with no breaks. But with breaks is about three days with iPhone 13 Pro, which it's a big, way big difference. So that Snapdragon 8 3 Gen is way better than, than any other chip because, well, and also I heard that this is the very power, the chip is so powerful that this makes the phone like the best of, of the best. And it's for Galaxy Edition, which is, which says Samsung made it way stronger, which is awesome. I think I already talked about. But I think I fixed my camera situation. It keep sliding down. So I forgot to mention this, but in some regions where you get this from, you still getting the Snapdragon 8 region, you get the Exynos 2400, which is not horrible, but it's way less weaker than the Snapdragon 8 region for Galaxy. But that is that in some cases it, it, it depends on what region you live in. So if you live in one of those regions, go or check, like Google it or something. I have no idea which region that is. So let's start with the RAM. So the Samsung Galaxy S24 starts with 12 gigabytes of RAM and about 256 gigabytes of storage. Which 12 gigabytes of RAM is very good, 
I think it's like a weak gaming laptop, but for fun, I think it's very good. Cool. Very good, very perfect. It's the best for fun. And I think it's more than enough for fun. I don't, I never go beyond six gigabytes of RAM. And sometimes I do crazy stuff with my phone. So, I think that's all for performance and let's go to the camera system. So now let's talk about the cameras of the S24 Ultra. So, those cameras that we have here in the back and also those cameras do have a 200 megapixel main sensor which takes about 200 megapi a 200 megapixel photo which also we also there are small multiple lenses and ultra wide telephoto and maybe a periscope zoom lens with those super close shots drop it right here and on top of that we have ai to cover all, all, all this up to make our photos look a bit better so let me show you an example so right here that's one of the example we have an option called remaster it's gonna, re it's gonna remaster the, the photo and it's, it's, it's gonna do a job sometimes it doesn't do that well on very good photos but I'm gonna try to find another photo for a very good example and I'm gonna try to show it on the on the screen so let's try let's say do this photo give me the reflections no not the reflections on the shadows to give you guys a good view and that that also remaster which gives you more color Honestly, it's very nice, so I'm gonna, gonna show you. I'm gonna put a big picture over here so you guys can see. So, let's go to our new subject. So, let's start the battery right here. This big phone, big battery. So, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has about 5,000 millipere per, per hour battery life or 5,000 mAh and if someone doesn't know how long is it or something and you have an iPhone 15 I think iPhone 15 has about 3,000 or 4,500 I think I think it was at the 3,500 but I was in a airport and our flight got delayed by two hours or so and then super long wait line. We was like an airport for like and well then and then we came very very, very early also because our plane came or our other plane came early. So about five hours in the airport and I had nothing to do. I mean we did went a, a little bit around the shops but we came to a point where there's nothing to do in the airport. So, I was on my phone for about the rest of the time. Probably four hours or so. And the battery did not drop a lot. So, it dropped about 20% or so the whole time. Which I was very shocked. Like, it lasted me till that day. And then tomorrow I didn't have, have to charge it. And also, if you, if you can see, phones can also tell you a, will give you an, an estimate on how long it has left. So the way I the way I used my phone and my ice cream time it actually told that and I have one day and seven hours left. Which I use my phone a lot though. So has a very awesome battery life and most good phones that have one of the, the best batteries to also have five thousand image or mil per hour battery life so the battery is pretty good on this phone so let's go to our next subject so let's go with the AI fair just that we have so I'm gonna still take a picture of my desk right now 
Ja, hier. Ein noch so angeschaut, alles gerade ausschreit. So. Und es soll ein Remastering geben. Wir können auch so pressen, der Pencil-Logo. Oh, ich kann auch so Screenshot hier. Ein kleines Screenshot, das ist Cold Screen. So, das kann ich sehen. So, und ich kann pressen, das Button recht hier. Und ich kann just hold it and I can move it or erase it so I think I wanna move it and also I do not like this wire that we have so zoom in and erase it and we're gonna move it and we're gonna move this wire that we have and we're just gonna move it like that I do have a very crazy photo that it took me to with this AI and just that difference is mind blowing and I'm gonna show it all up in the screen if I can. So you have to wait till it finishes sculpting. Sometimes it gives you this weird images. Like sometimes it's choice to make an image, so I'll do I press done and then Tap on that and erase it. Generate. Which I do not like when it tries to do something, but sometimes it adds some or something very nice. Uh, again, it's keep adding. Okay, so. It's keep adding. I'm gonna try to do another photo, but uh, that was another feature. I think over here, object eraser. Object eraser. It doesn't do that good of a job than the AI of the blue icon. This car. So I'm gonna try to take a new photo or something else then, like the scope. And this cup stand. Okay, so. Also, we can make this cup bigger. Let's see how it does. Okay, well, it did a job, kind of. Did add some something? I think because it's all black or something. That AI if you want to add something so I'm gonna show you some pic pictures that that I took that didn't give me those kind of problems well but I think something with people does do a very good job with it so before we go to our next subject I do I did forget about one thing for in, in the camera section and it's the 100 times zoom so my cousin caught, he caught a butterfly and I took a picture of it and this is how it looks like and you can see the attention to detail like it's a it's very cool and I also missed another thing about the camera section I'm, I missed a lot I'm sorry guys is you make a video and holding it and it's gonna play it in slow motion so in this case I I already made a slow motion video right here, but if I tap on it or any other video that I want, I can play it even as slow as we have right here our screen recorded. Um, this is where I do it. So this is without maybe me tapping on it, and this is with me tapping on it. It's gonna take a long time, but it does that with normal video also. Which I do like because I went to the lake and we sent out people on those balloon tub thingy, whatever. And I and I I, I did them all, all on the media and I tap on it on when they fall, as we can see. I do that right now. And 
and it does a very good job on it. So that's a very pretty, pretty nice feature we have for the camera section. And now we can move on to our next subject finally. So let's start the price with this phone as our last subject of today. So how much is this phone? I probably said it earlier to, to today, I probably didn't. But this phone is about $1,200, which is a lot for a phone. But most models phones are right now turning to about $1,000 and more like that for 15 Pro Max and, uh, and S24 as well. So many phones right now yeah, getting expensive, but it's, 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 it's because of their performance. They're very good and they one of the best that those companies have. So if you really want this awesome experience of AI and many more, I'm probably gonna make a separate video about the AI because there's way more Samsung AI that I didn't even get to cover for today, but I'm gonna just keep reviewing it. So, It is kind of expensive, which is a lot of money though, but you get to pick. You want this awesome phone with cool AI, or you want another phone for a cheaper price that pretty much does almost the same thing, but with some minuses with it. And also I'll make another video about my bad side about this, like my honest opinion and all the bad things for the purpose of this phone and the camera and also about the AI. AI, so that's gonna be three upcoming videos I'm, I'm gonna make. But before we go, I wanna show you what comes with the box with it. And one more to topic out about the, the battery because that's what's in the box. So, when you open the phone, it's like this, open the phone, right? You put it in the table and then we have another one over here. It's not a phone, sadly, but take it, open it over here. I do not remember how this box looked originally. Try my best on it. So comes with some paper, a quick guide store on the phone, and it has a SIM card thing, right on in the comments if you know what it's name, and we have the charger, okay, for the charger, where is the brick for the charger, now uh, about the battery, this is a 45 watt charging phone so this is very fast 25 watts is super fast now imagine 45 watts that's just gonna be crazy speed but if you really want the tube to come with it you must buy it separately like I did somewhere here we have a cube I think there's one that's cleaner than this but I try my best to find it from, from Samsung so because of the Samsung cubes, they're the ones that supply the 45 watch watch chargers. I heard that some cubes say 45 watts, and they actually do 45 watts, but sometimes phones, because of the model, doesn't fully accept the 45 watt charger. So, try my best to stick with Samsung over here, which is pretty wide though. I'm not saying that's bad, just. I'm used to those skinny cubes. But it's 45 watts, so it's super fast. And I think this is all for today for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you do like this video, part like and to support the, uh, this channel. And for this channel to totally grow, hit that subscribe button, please. I will, I will uh, uh, appreciate it a lot. So that's all for today. And have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.